Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. Okay, firstly, okay, I first wanna mention that I know that I've been gone again but you guys literally as soon as my last video went up i literally got sick it's been just amazing 10 out of 10 definitely recommend getting sick so yeah i got sick and for the past five days i've been trying to at least get my voice to a reasonable pitch because when i get sick my voice gets really deep and raspy so i did not want to record with that so yeah sorry about that but we are back into the swing of things and i'm excited to do my nails again because i've kind of just like been missing it but anyways i do think that that's all that i needed to mention in the beginning without further ado let's get into it so here is what my natural nails are looking like and yes they are beat up so in my last video i did the pop-off method with my nails but y'all, they were so hard to take off. I don't know what's going on. I think, you know, that set is just cursed. That set, this set right here, she's cursed. She has it out for me. Now, normally it's really easy for me to take off my nail sets. I just use a cuticle pusher and I kind of just like stick it underneath and I pop it right off. But that set right there, she did not want to come off and she wanted to play games. So now my nails look raggedy again. So yeah, that's what's going on. And of course my pinky is, she's trying. I did just clip her down a little bit because she was doing too much, but yeah, she's okay. But anyways, the first thing I'm gonna do is start off by putting on my peel off base coat. And of course, for anyone who doesn't know, that is just a little bit of matte top coat and some cuticle oil. So as always, I'm just gonna start off by putting a little bit of this cuticle oil onto my natural nails. And I honestly think that the reason they didn't come off as well is because i didn't put enough oil but i never really put that much oil so i really don't know what happens and as you can see i'm making sure to rub this in really good because i really don't want these to pop off that easily also yeah you can really see like what's going on with my thumb like i literally was peeling off layers of my nails trying to take those nails off but anyway, like I'm kind of like feeling some type of way. Anyway, so yeah, I think this time I'm definitely gonna use a little bit more oil and see if there's a difference. And if you've never tried this method before, I definitely do recommend it. You will kind of have to play around with the ratio of oil to matte top coat because you really don't wanna be in a situation like I was and your nails are not coming off and you're damaging your nails, but you also don't want it to come off super easily and you can't even finish your nail set. Okay, so I have the oil rubbed in and now I'm gonna go in with two layers of my matte top coat. And of course I'm making sure to cure each layer for a full 30 seconds. All right, so I have my matte pillow base coat fully applied and I also went ahead and sized out all of my nail tips for today. And to glue on these nail tips, I'm just going to go in with some base coat. Now for anyone who doesn't know, I only use base coat when I'm using my matte peel off base coat. And that's simply because I find it very hard to use regular nail glue, especially on top of this layer. It doesn't really stick too well. So I just like to go in with some base coat. Also random side note, my nail beds are like smaller i don't know what happened but my nail beds are like definitely smaller like this is a number five and it's like fitting but the number five also fits my middle finger but normally i'm a size four so i don't know what happened there if you had damaged nails and you grew them out fully healthy definitely let me know if your nail beds are smaller or they seem to have shrunken because i don't know like the science behind that so definitely let me know your opinion on that
Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my tip cutters and just cut these down a little bit. And I'm really just gonna go at the length of my pinky because I do want these to still kind of be long. So I'm really just gonna be cutting off probably about this much. All right, and now I'm just gonna take my 80-80 grit nail file to go ahead and make everything nice and crisp. All right, so my nails are fully prepped and we're finally ready to move on to the application. But before we do that, I actually need to show you everything that I have for this nail set. Okay, so this is everything that I'm gonna be encapsulating once I move on to the application portion. So I first have these flower petals that I'm gonna be using and I'm probably gonna be using these the most out of everything else. Next, I just have some gold flakes and I also have this like cat eye um, glitter gel polish and it's a really nice like lavender purple. And of course, I I just have the magnet to help me get that cat eye effect okay so that's everything let me go ahead and move this out of the way and we'll get into the application okay so to kick off the application portion of the video i am starting out by doing a french tip and the color that i'm using for that is valentino's bad and bougie mixed in with a little bit of clear acrylic now if you can't tell i'm going for a pretty deep french for today's nail set and i felt like it would work best for longer nails such as these but even still i really do love my deep french like anytime i'm doing a nail set with French involved I'm always gonna go for the deep French so yeah but with that being said this part is definitely up to you you can make it as deep as you want or as shallow as you want I'm not sure if shallow is the right word but you get what I'm saying so when it comes to creating a French tip using acrylic or poly gel or any type of extension product I definitely do recommend working from top to bottom and so what that means is you want to start from the tip of the nail towards the cuticle not from the cuticle towards the tip of the nail and I feel like this method is definitely more universal. So if you were covering your entire nail, you'd always work from tip to the cuticle instead of cuticle to the tip. And I feel like especially during this step when you are creating a French tip using any type of extension product, it's a lot easier to build up your structure when you work from tip to cuticle. And since we are on the topic of structure, it is definitely important to build up that structure, get that thickness, and of course, make sure you have an apex. And in some cases, you may need to overcompensate and make the section a little bit thicker than you would normally do it. And this is just so that once you go to file and make that French French tip nice and crisp that you have enough acrylic to file and your file isn't like slipping or not actually filing anything so when you're trying this definitely do not be afraid to make the French tip a little bit thicker than usual you can always go back and correct it afterwards okay so that's all that I had to mention for this portion I will just go ahead and let you watch the rest of this bit and I'll come back to shape these up
okay so the nude part of the french tip is complete and now i'm going to go in with my 80 80 grit nail file this step is just to correct the almond shape and make everything nice and uniform now as you can see as i'm filing it my nail file is not slipping off of the edge of the french tip and it is staying in place and that is because i have a good thickness to work with so make sure really really make sure that your french tip is thick enough for this step So now I'm going to be going in with this glitter cat eye gel and to be honest I did not really know what I was doing when I like first got into it. I even tried looking inside of the box that it came with to see if I could find instructions but I couldn't find anything. So I was kind of on my own here and I had watched like tutorials in the past of people using the cat eye gel and the magnet but for some reason mine just did not look that good. So yeah it was definitely a struggle from this point on but in the end I kept pushing forward and I got through it and I tried my best. So after I applied the glitter cat eye gel, I did decide to stick down all of my flowers in my gold with some rhinestone glue instead of trying to encapsulate everything with clear acrylic. Now I have done this in a previous video and I do feel like this is definitely a good method for anyone who has issues with encapsulating with clear or maybe you're just a beginner or you just don't like the entire process as a whole because to be honest trying to encapsulate stuff like especially gold and flower petals can be really annoying especially if you're working with a very fast setting clear acrylic or maybe you just decide to change your mind and switch around the positioning of whatever you're encapsulating. So I definitely recommend using a gel product because you have unlimited time to work with whatever you're working with and you can get everything placed exactly where you want it.
So after I have all of my flowers and my gold placed, I am just going to go ahead and start encapsulating everything. But before I encapsulate it, I did decide last minute to go in with a little bit of glitter because you can't go wrong with glitter. Glitter just makes everything look better. But I'm really only going in with the smallest amount here and there because I want the flower petals and the gold to be the main attraction with this nail set. So I didn't want the glitter to take away from it. Okay, so now we are finally ready to go ahead and encapsulate everything and honestly the way to encapsulate these and have them be clear is to kind of wet the surface first with a little bit of monomer so that your clear acrylic just glides on like super nice and smooth without any bubbles and another thing to help maintain clarity is to make sure that you are not like oversaturating your brush with monomer when you go to smooth out the acrylic because for whatever reason it seems that when you are like oversaturating your brush in the monomer to help smooth out the clear acrylic it really does transfer a lot of bubbles onto the surface which just messes up the clarity and makes it really bubbly and it's kind of annoying but you really want to make sure that your brush is just wet enough so that it's not getting super gunky and tacky with the clear acrylic but you don't want your brush to be slippery and like drowning in that monomer or else your clear application is going to be super bubbly and with that being said practice 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 your clear application start doing more clear sets practice on you your friends or your family whatever definitely try and use clear more often and try and get that monomer to acrylic ratio down pack so that you can get super clear application and you won't have to worry about like trying to cover it up you know because i've had situations where i've had to cover up super large bubbles because i just wasn't good at it but definitely practice makes not perfection but it definitely makes persistence Okay, so the application is finally finished. This took probably about an hour or so just to like get everything nice and encapsulated. But now we are finally on to the filing process. So the first thing I'm gonna do is file the sidewalls and undersides of my nails using my 80 80 grit nail file. So here you can really see the difference that it makes just by filing these sidewalls. As you can see, my pointer finger is a lot more straight, whereas this one is a little bit kind of like wonky looking. And that's really because of the petals and all of the add-ons, but I really do recommend kind of straightening out the sides first so that you can really see what shape you're working with. Now, of course, the steps in which I file my nails are kind of up to interpretation, like you can kind of switch it around, but I just like to see what shape I'm working with first before I do anything.
Next, I'm gonna go in with this carpet bit here just to go ahead and seal my cuticles. And just in case I have any humps or anything by the French tip area, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that out as well. Getting rid of any of these lumps are just gonna make the filing process with my hand file a little bit faster and easier. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back in with my nail file just to completely file over the surface and further get rid of these lumps and bumps. Okay, so now we have two nails that are officially down. My last nail set, the stiletto ones that I just posted, like those did not come off. But now the set is just like ready to go. I don't know what's going on. Like you need to chill out. I'm not done yet. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and just shape up the free edge, make it a little bit more crisp. And now I'm gonna go back in with my carbide bit just to kind of thin out the C-curve. And lastly, I'm just going to buff my nails using my mini buffer. All right, so my nails are fully shaped. I'm going to just go ahead and wash my hands and I'll come right back. All right, so my hands are washed and we are ready to kind of finish up this nail set. Now, I'm really not gonna do too much nail art. I think I might just add some butterflies here and there because as you can see, there's a lot going on inside of the encapsulation and I really don't want these nails to be too busy. Okay, so I just have a few butterflies here and I'm gonna go ahead and glue them on using some rhinestone glue.
All right, I think this is pretty much all that I wanna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this off with some top coat. And to finish this up, I'm going to go in with some cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. So this is my last official summer set of the year and I'm definitely ready to move into fall nails. So definitely do stay tuned for those coming up in the future. But even with that being said, I will really miss summer nails. I had a lot of fun doing a lot of my summer nails. I think these nails came out very, very beautiful. I am super, super proud of my encapsulation abilities and how they have improved over time. As you guys know, I have a difficult time using clear acrylic, but I really do think that I kind of redeemed myself over the past few uploads. So of course, I would love to hear what you guys think of this nail set down in the comments. Would you wear it even though it is kind of like the middle of September? I definitely do think that it still kind of works since it's technically still summer, but it's really up to personal preference. But as always, I want to say thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next one.